Hello everyone. Exploring NEO stock struggles compared to Xpeng and Li Auto. The impact of short sellers and Envo growing demand. Guys, today, let's dive into the intriguing question. Why is NEO stock not rising as much as Xpeng or Li Auto? To get to the bottom of this, we need to understand what's happening behind the scenes with NEO stock and the actions of short sellers. It seems the short sellers are doubling down, not allowing NEO stock price to climb. They're getting desperate. What they don't realize, however, is that there's a lot of key information they're not aware of information that we're about to discuss. The first significant detail is the shocking revelation that every Envo sales rep currently has between 10 to 20 locked in orders on average. Some of the top salespeople are reportedly managing even more, with rumors circulating that a few have already surpassed their entire sales target for 2024 just a few days ago. This is big news because while we don't have the exact figures, the suggestion that Envo has already achieved its annual sales goal demonstrates the incredible momentum behind the company's products. Let's consider the sales trend. It's clear that Envo orders are surging, with wait times extending up to 16 weeks due to overwhelming demand. This is even before deliveries start. There's been talk that Envo CEO might announce the official pre-order or locked-in numbers right before deliveries begin potentially as early as today or tomorrow. If that happens, we could see NEO stock price soar. However, even without that official confirmation, the sheer volume of locked-in orders alone could be enough to send the stock price upwards once deliveries begin. Envo L60 model is playing a major role in this success, offering features that rival Tesla Model Y, but at a much lower price about two-thirds of the Model Y's cost. In an economic environment where Chinese consumers are hunting for bargains, this price-to-performance ratio makes the L60 a standout choice. Whether it's ordering takeout with discounts or shopping with vouchers, the Chinese economy is pushing for more affordable options, and Envo fits that bill perfectly. The L60 offers an experience comparable to, if not better than, the Model Y at a fraction of the cost. Now, when we look at NEO stock price performance, things may seem a bit worrisome, but let's break it down. On the Singapore Stock Exchange, NEO stock is currently trading at $6.15 per share, despite short sellers pushing it down to $5.70 in the US market. If we take a step back and look at the bigger picture, this situation mirrors what happened back in 2020 when NEO was priced for bankruptcy. Short sellers had a field day, betting against the stock for years, but everything changed when the company received a crucial bailout from the Hefei government. Back in those days, articles on platforms like Seeking Alpha were pessimistic about Neo future. Analysts argued that the bailout was bearish, but many failed to see the bigger picture. Short sellers were so confident they continued to bet against Neo even as it slowly started to recover. However, that confidence proved to be their undoing when NEO stock skyrocketed, forcing them to cover their positions at higher prices. This triggered a series of short squeezes, pushing the stock even higher, much to the short's dismay. What's happening now is eerily similar. Over the past three years, from 2021 until now, short sellers have had an easy time betting against NEO. Every time the stock tried to rally, they would push it back down. But things are different now. With Envo and Firefly brands on the horizon, the game is changing. Deliveries are set to explode, potentially pushing monthly figures from 20k units to 30k, and then to 40k or even 50k and beyond. This surge in deliveries will put massive pressure on short sellers, many of whom have become complacent over the last few years. They're still trying to push the stock price down but with so many locked-in orders and deliveries about to begin, they're fighting an uphill battle. Just think about it. Anyone who shorted NEO stock at $4 is likely sweating bullets right now, and those who bet against it at $5 will soon be in the same boat. As the stock price rises, these short sellers will be forced to buy back their positions, creating even more upward momentum. This could lead to what's often called the mother of all short squeezes, where the stock price continues to rise as shorts scramble to cover. 
Of course, there will be pullbacks along the way, but the overall trend is shifting upward. If NEO stock price breaks through key resistance levels, such as $7 or $8, and climbs above $10 per share, it will be game over for many short sellers, forcing them to exit their positions and driving the stock price even higher. This entire scenario is very reminiscent of 2020 when NEO stock went from $5 to $50 and even $60, a 10x increase in just a short period. Could history repeat itself? Given the strength of Envo sales, the potential of the Firefly brand, and the enormous number of locked-in orders, it's certainly within the realm of possibility. Let's also take a moment to discuss NEO growing sales network. The company is rapidly expanding its presence across China, with plans to open around 100 stores soon. Right now, NEO has about 60 to 70 stores, each with a team of sales reps, many of whom are already managing large numbers of locked-in orders. Some stores have more than 10 sales reps, and every single one of them is handling 10 to 20 orders. This level of demand is unprecedented, and with deliveries starting tomorrow, Mio is on the verge of entering a new era. What's truly remarkable is that Onbo's success is forcing other major players in the EV market, like Zeker, BYD, and even Tesla, to respond. These companies are starting to issue statements in an attempt to downplay the L60 impact, but the reality is that Onbo momentum is undeniable. The fact that other automakers feel the need to address Onbo success is a clear indication of how much of a threat it poses. While NEO stock may not have risen as much as Xpeng or Li Auto, it's important to remember that there are forces at play behind the scenes, namely the short sellers who are desperately trying to suppress the stock. But with the Onbo L60 set to begin deliveries and Firefly on the horizon, NEO is on the cusp of a major turnaround. The shorts may be able to push the stock down temporarily, but they won't be able to hold it down for long. And when the stock starts to rise, the ensuing short squeeze could send NEO stock price to new heights. So, there you have it. Keep an eye on those locked-in orders, and remember, the trend is shifting in NEO favor. With Envo leading the charge, NEO is poised to enter a new era of growth and success leaving the short sellers scrambling to cover their positions. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.